Hello, today I will teach you how to solve ambiguous case problems for triangles that are not 90 degrees and when you are only given an angle and two sides. In order to use the sine law to solve the ambiguous case problem, um, you must be given an angle and its opposite side. The first step we will do in, in solving this problem is we will create a key. The key will help us, first of all, uh, annotate the information we're given in order to solve the problem and see what we're missing in order to finish it. We will draw a triangle and label the information given to us. In this case, we're given that angle A is 58 degrees, that side A is 25 centimeters, and side B is 22 centimeters. With this information, we can deduce that A, 25, over sine 58 is equal to 22 over sine B. If we cross multiply, we'll be getting that sine B is equal to 22 times 25 over sine 58. In order to find sine B, once you work this out into your calculator, you'll get that you'll get that B is equal to 48 degrees. We will go back to our key and plug in that B is equal to 48 degrees and back to our triangle and look at what we're missing. Degrees. We're missing angle C and side C. But as we already know, all the, the sum of all the angles in a triangle are supposed to equal 180 degrees. So, we already know that one of our angles is 58, and another one of our angles is 48. What we're missing is our third angle. So if we work this out, 106 Our missing angle is 74 degrees. So now we're only missing side C. So if we go back to our original problem and work out the same steps as we did to finding side sine B, only we do it in order to find a side, we do over sine 58 is equal to C, which is our unknown, over sine of 74. We cross multiply again, and we get that C is equal to 25 over sine of 58 times sine of 74. If we work this out into our calculator, we'll get that C is equal to side C will equal 28.34 centimeters. We go back into our key and we plug in 28.34. We have now completed our key, which means we have solved our problem. So let's review what we've done today. We have solved an ambiguous case problem when we were given an angle and its opposite side using the sine law and using our previous knowledge that the sum of all angles in a triangle are 180 degrees. Thanks for watching.